Arben Ratzak here. Welcome to another demo for Amalgam Audio Tonex Captures, this time featuring the Selma Treble and Bass 50 from 1964. So vintage amp that is very sought after and uh, many players like Josh Smith love those amps and, and it's for a reason because um, for me, for my ears, they have that plexi character but also have their own unique voice. So they are they are fantastic, sound great. Um, this feature is a set with um, a full full capture set, so you get um, also the, the Selma 2x12 uh, G12 Alnico speakers, which are baked in um, the tone model and preset, so you just plug and play. Um, like usually, I'm going into my Focusrite interface, uh, dialing in the input so that it doesn't clip. Um, and I have also the noise, ga noise gate engaged because I live in a um, very noisy environment when it comes to electronics. So I leave that on all the time. The reverb, I'm using mostly a plate reverb, time around 2.5, pre-delay around 70, color minus 5 because I prefer dark uh, reverbs. And the mix is around 12, something or more. It depends on the mood. Uh, as usually, I'm um, also turning it off so you can hear the raw tone. Um, but mostly with guitar playing, you need a little bit of room until it comes alive. So um, i chosen five or uh, six tones I really dig from this uh, capture set. So um, I will use also different guitars. I will use my Les Paul, my trusty one. I will use my Fender Stratocaster to show you the single coil uh, variations. And I will use my Telecaster. All right, so without further ado, let's start with the Les Paul. The first tone, I will engage the plate because I like it a lot. It's a crunch balance cap and let's see how this sounds. <laughs> Turn the reverb off for a second. Very nice plexi-ish kind of tone, a little bit more warm, but also a very nice and unique attack. That's really I, I dig from the, the Selma at the first when plugging in and playing, that's what I was uh, hearing. It's a tight response and um, yeah, very nice. Let's try this capture with a Stratocaster. For this I always um, will on the Tonex software um, increase the input gain because these are single coils and they're really low output so I will just check if it works it works and let's see how it sounds starting with a neck pickup sounds Really nice. Let's uh, do the same on the bridge pickup. Let's add some reverb. Let's see how this sounds. really a nice bluesy crunchy tone um, that I I'm hearing I, I was listening to the to the um, Josh Smith video of course I'm nowhere near his uh, abilities but um, I'm hearing that kind of tone when he was playing the Strat and I can immediately immediately recognize the tone so Carlis again did a fantastic job capturing um, the amp settings so let's try this one with the Telecaster 
without any reverb. Starting on the bridge. Decrease the input a little bit. Still a little bit too much. Now we're talking. Right out of the box, sounds great, the crunch balance is fantastic. Um, let's try to go to the clean ones and I'm gonna see a clean warm capture here. Let's try this one with a little bit of reverb and using the middle position on the Telecaster. Very warm sounding, nice. It's, it sounds really cool to my ears. Let's uh, try maybe the bright one with the, or the let's try the scooped one with the Telecaster. Nice clean tone, nice warm and round, and uh, definitely not a fender, but it's it's a sound and it sounds cool. Let's try the next one. Let's try the Les Paul with the same settings, leaving the input train a little bit back. Right, let's try this one with a scooped. up for a moment and let's try some some chords with the last part also very nice very round very very ple pleasant to the ear i would say the, the frequencies are very balanced so um Nice, a lot of fun to play. Let's try this one with the Stratocaster. But let's not use the scoop, let's use the fat one. And let's engage the reverb a little bit. And of course the input trim. Let's see how this works. Also very nice tone, not my favorite to be honest from the clean side from this amp but that's I think that's not his uh, the, the strong side of this amp. Let's try the dime because I really think the dime ones or let's first do the crunch. 
crunch ones are really the ones that um, that shine a lot. All right. All right. So, but I think um, for for this amp, really the crunch and dime uh, tones are the ones you socked after. So let's try maybe uh, the dimed fat one with a Stratocaster and see what happened. Very nice. It's a punch, those sparkling highs I like a lot. So, killer tone. Let's try this one, the dime fat with the telecaster. First, without the reverb, dialing back the inputs. Right, start on the bridge pickup. <laughs> But for this, let's try the bright one and add some reverb. has some some great great crunch tones I like it a lot so for the last capture let's try the one with a tube screamer I think this has the most amount of gain you can get of this amp so let's try this one out with the plate on Man, this is a spectacular sound. I especially like how how fresh and dynamic it sounds and all the notes are really bloom out with a nice attack. So that is great. Um, let's try this one with the Les Paul with the more output humbucker and let's see how this works. <laughs> So a string broke, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, let's try this one with the Stratocaster. It sounds phenomenal with the Les Paul. Um, all right, increase the input a little bit and dial back the tone port and let's see. <laughs> Amazing. My favorite thing with this amp is definitely the Stratocaster. I have to be honest, with this amp, at least for my taste, it really, really, really shines with the Stratocaster because it has that nice punch, low end, and it has enough attack. So my personally favorite with, with this uh, Stratocaster, it, it sounds really killing.
So, um, definitely check this one out, guys, because uh, the Selma treble and bass seems to be a cool amp and seems to be very, very dynamic and um, it has its own character. It's kind of plexi-ish uh, in, in its own way, so go for it. Great captures, Amalgam Audio, so no questions about it. All the settings make sense and try uh, out the different um, balanced, warm, fat, thin. They all make sense. Work with your guitars and enjoy and see you next time. Thanks so much and please leave a like and subscription there if you want and see you next time. Bye bye guys.